Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Grim Dawn has a lot of easter eggs and hidden quests all around the world. And one of them is Bone Bleach Basin, which is an area that's locked behind a quest called Crate Secret Quest. This area is located in the Forgotten Gods expansion, just north of the Carrion Docks. This area unlocks both guaranteed epics and legendaries, dungeon called Edge of Reality, and finally the celestial boss Crate of Entertainment. This can only be done in ultimate difficulty as well. Before we start, just a quick reminder to like this video and also consider subscribing to the channel. Alright, let's begin. So first up, we are going on a crate hunt all around the Corian Basin. And there are six of them that we need to find and the first one is located in Conclave of the Three. Head west and enter the Forgotten Cellar. And here you will find your first crate. The next one is located at Temple City of Osir, at the hidden refuge to the north. And here you find the second crate behind some trees. The third one is located in a hidden area at Sun Bay Oasis. Just go to the west from the waypoint to the middle of the area. Once you're here, just follow the river and go north and you will find the crate behind some trees. The fourth one is located at Ruins of Abigd, just north of Vanguard of the Three in a hidden area. And the fifth crate is located in Valley of the Chosen. Take the remnants of Corvan City Waypoint and the crate will be behind a crumbling wall just to the southeast. The final crate is located at the second layer in the tomb of the Eldritch Sun. You take the waypoint to the Eldritch Sun and run all the way till you get to the second level. Once you're here you want to go all the way to the west and here you find a secret area and then within that area you find another secret area where you will find your last crate. Once all of that is done, next before we continue you want to go to Vanguard of the Three. And here south of the waypoint you will find this green circle on the ground. You will need to stand in the circle for 15 seconds for the legendary sword Shieldheart to drop. And this item is going to be needed later on in this questline. Be aware that you will take damage from standing in the green circle. Uh, you can use an Aether Cluster, which is highly recommended. Even using Jelly Bam and Ointments for some extra region do help out. And now when all of this is done, we can now go and unlock the area called Bone Bleach Basin. First teleport to Corman Sand and just run all the way north. And here you'll find this crate symbol. If you walk on it, the area will then be unlocked. Once you go inside, you will take damage from the sandstorms that occur in the area. You can take cover behind these destroyed ships and also at the grass and tree areas are also fine to take cover at as well. If you have some leech like my characters have, you can then leech from the enemies as well. You have some different points of interest in this area. At the A point you will find an urn that contains the fumets of the questing beast epic offhand. At the B point you will find an urn that contains the fumets grips epic gloves. And then you have a C, D and E point which is containing some lore called the Sea of Dust. To the north is the Desert Altar and there we want to go to continue on our quest. Once you get here you will then activate a rift and this is done if you have the Shieldheart Sword on you. Once you enter you will get to Sanctum of Chosen and here you need to do this mini game by pulling the right levers in the right order. First pull the white lever and then you want to go for the yellow one, then the green one, then the blue and lastly the purple one. And once that's done you can now enter the edge of reality. 
And here, just real quick, I just want to change my hardcore character to my softcore because I really don't want to lose my hardcore character to the end boss. Uh, so yeah, once that's done, here you want to run all the way north until you come across these maggots. And here you want to look for a worm that's called perfectly usual oversized maggot and kill it. Once you do so, a portal will open in a room to the north. Once through, you will get to this lava area and here you want to run northeast to another portal rift. And now we are at the final area and you will find a boss at the middle just to the northeast. And this boss is not easy and I would recommend you either be a minion build or a ranged one. You will also need to be close to stun immune as well or you will get stun locked by the boss pretty much all of the time. Uh, this boss has a chance of dropping Wilhelm's Wondrous Wargam, which is a legendary amulet which provides some extra experience gain and also plus to all skills and with some other helpful stats on it. Very good amulet overall, especially for new characters because you can equip it straight away from level 1. Alright everyone, this was my guide on how to do the Crate Secret Quest and get access to Bone Bleach Basim and also the Celestial God Crate of Entertainment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and also subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!